what is up youtube welcome back to my channel and today we're going to do a review on kevin gates luca brasi 3. now i am a huge 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 fan of kevin gates always have been i still remember the time that i was going to southern university in baton rouge louisiana and my homeboy and Amani Carlo, we fall deep in Amani Carlo. He put in Get In The Way, you know, and that was the first time I ever heard Kevin Gates, which it was, it's, the song been out for a little while, but when I heard it, I was just like, oh man, who is this? You know, and he was like, oh, it's Kevin Gates. He, you know, from Baton Rouge, but you know, now we kind of find out he's from New Orleans, but he was just a kind of a local rapper back then. And, and at the time that when he was getting discovered and getting hot, he was locked up. So I truly, true, man, this is a front to back album. I haven't heard a real front to back album this year other than J. Cole. And this is a front to back, it's, it's for me personally, it gets me aggressive, it gets me charged up, it gets me motivated, it gets me thinking, thought provoking. So I really love this album. This is a solid nine out of 10. I only give it that because, you know, it's the same energy that you, you know, you know what you're gonna get when it comes to Gates. And I know that when Gates just got locked up recently for kicking that girl, you know, while he was on stage for, potentially grabbing his dick. I feel like when he when he got locked up to that, I'm like, yeah, I know this guy's gonna put out another hot album when he gets out. Hot mixtape, whatever he get on, he gonna rip up because he just he just uh, he just has that aggression. You know, and I'm just like, I, I seen Gates, man, and, and the crazy thing is, man, like I said, being from Baton Rouge, and he's, he's standing the test of time. That, that goes a long way, especially being from Baton Rouge because it's really hard to get out of Baton Rouge musically and be commercially successful. Boosie and Webber did it. And you know, a lot of people in Baton Rouge feel like if it ain't Boosie and Webber, then we don't want to listen to it. But nah, Kevin Gates came out, emerged, became successful. Everybody rocked with Kevin Gates too. So that's why I really liked him because this dude's grind. I'm a grinder, oh, 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 oh. So yeah, that boy has always been grinding since day one. Day one, grinder, and I always rock with that because I am a grinder as well. So I'm like, he makes music for people that really be out, out here working, out here hustling, out here grinding, out here trying to put the most you got into your work to make sure that it pays off in the end. And that's what, to me, that's what the music symbolizes for me with Kevin Gates. He's always did that. I still remember the one, of the, one of my favorite songs of all time is always going to be Make Him Believe because I feel like he just had that energy. It was just like, you know, I may not be doing this or I may not be where you at, but I'm gonna make you believe that, yeah, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna shine, I'm gonna grind, you know, and I love that, you know what I'm saying? So even with this album with Luca Brasi 3, yeah, from front to back, he's the same topics, but it, man, he's, 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 he's talking more personal about his life, you know what I'm saying? The first song with discussion is that, you know, he was like, yeah, my, my relationship rocky, my spousal support is rocky. You know, me and my wife, you know, it's like I'm going to jail. And I, could, I could, I mean, I can only imagine how she feeling, what Drika is feeling, how Gates is feeling. It's like, yeah, you keep getting locked up. You know, you got kids out here now, you can't be doing that. So, you know, he just kind of like, yeah, it's awkward, it's shaky. She might be doing some devious stuff while I'm going. I don't know. He might be lying about stuff. I don't know. But might as well just go get money. That's the best thing that can come from me knowing that you might be doing something that you ain't got no business, but I'm gonna just keep grinding and, and God's gonna take care of the rest. So to me, that song spoke volumes because I feel like every man can relate to that. Almost everybody can relate to that, man or woman. I'm not even gonna say man. Everybody can relate to that. You know, it's just like, man, you might be doing something, you might be lying, I don't know what you're doing, but just keep grinding, keep working hard, and God's gonna bless you for you working hard. So I'm just like, that's why I really, dig that one song called Discussion, which is the first song on the album. Also, I like Selling H. I'm like, I like the flow, how he just, he, it's just it's just nonstop. Like I'm a rapper, it's like he's riding every single beat. He rides all the beats, I love that. And I'm like, great track selection, way better than Luca Brasi 2. I feel like Luca Brasi 1 is a, was a classic. It's a classic. I still, I still have seven songs out of that mixtape in rotation to this day. And that came out in like 2012, 2000, I mean, Luca Brasi, Two, it's about three songs that I listen to off of that. It's, it's still in rotation. So I already know Luca Brasi 3 is going to have quite a bit more. It's like, you know, four or five, you know, in, in rotation. So I give it a solid nine out of 10. These songs are going to remain in my rotation. It's just something where I like to listen to if I'm working out, especially when I'm working out. When I'm running, I want to listen to it. When I'm on the road, when I'm traveling, I want to listen to it. So these are the songs that gets me motivated to inspire 
what I'm doing in my life. You know what I'm saying? So this is the motivation behind what I'm doing as far as my, you know, doing my career. So I, I really like it. I really do. I really, really like this album. Like I'm, I'm playing it more than Carter Five. That's how you know I'm liking. It. It's crazy that they dropped the same day. I think that he, Kevin Gates, was like, well, he almost got signed with Young Money. But Wayne, I remember when um he was about to get signed, he was talking to Fee, and he took a picture with Wayne. And then I see that he didn't. You know, I guess contracts was bad. He, you know, something didn't add up. So he was like, I'm gonna just stay independent and just do my own thing. I don't think Wayne was too happy because I just see articles saying that you know Wayne was trying to blackball him or whatever, but. I don't know if it holds any weight. I don't really listen to gossip. I'll read it, but I'm like, I'll see the headlines, but I'm not reading it. I don't I don't want to pay attention to gossip. If it's not coming out the horse's mouth, meaning if it ain't coming out of their mouth about what happened, then I don't really want to listen to it. But he just a solid dude from New Orleans, came to Baton Rouge, south side of Baton Rouge, which is Boosters Hood, and he just did his thing. Like, and that's something I really, I really enjoy because when you go somewhere out your element, and you just make it on your own two feet. That's why that man just always keeps saying, my own two feet, I'm making. I'm like, and I'm, you know, here I am, I'm the same way. You know, I'm like, I have the same type of mentality. Like, if you make it on your own two feet, nobody can tell you nothing. Nobody can't tell you that you didn't do it wrong because you made it on your own steam. You made it on your own two feet. On your own two feet, you stand like a man. I like that. So, I really like Kevin Gates. I like his album. I'm playing it more than Wayne. Let me know if you guys are doing the same. I mean, I know Logic, also drop. I don't really listen to Logic that much, but I did hear that one song with 1-800 with that suicide line, which is something that was really, really hot. Post your comments down below if you agree with me. You know, I'll, let's talk. Let's see if, are you guys playing Kevin Gates, Luca Brasi 3, more do you play in the Carter 5, or what album are you listening to right now? You know, that just dropped. Or what what album are you anticipating dropping for the rest of this year? We only have, what, a couple, couple months left, so what album are you listening to right now? Post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys are listening to. And if you like my review, please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button if you like my content. This is your boy, D. Peace.